everybody, this is the Daydreamer with Daydreams and Nightmares, and it is time for another contest video. This one is for Team Money 86. Um, he is currently celebrating his 250 subscriber mark. Actually, last I checked, he was just one shot of hitting 300. Uh, to do that, he is giving away a uh, Hammer Volume 1 DVD set for movies. Uh, in the set, um, and it's a limited edition, uh, one of 6,000 that he's giving away. And what he is asking you to do is to show him three items in your collection, I should say in your whore collection, uh, that are your most prized possessions or your favorite items in your whore collection. Um, I'm going to kind of break the rules a little bit. I have three different category of items. I'm going to end up showing two of each. So it's going to be six items I'm going to show. Uh, and I originally hadn't intended on entering into this um, because I just won his last giveaway. I received uh, the George uh, Romero's uh, Land of the Dead that I had won from him. So I was going to pass because I was, I had just won something from him, so I'd give somebody else an opportunity. But he wants some participation and some people uh, to get involved, and I'm more than willing to just put this out there and and, um, and uh, try to promote his channel and his giveaway and hope more people can get involved. Uh, anyway, so I have a large number of interests. And I do love my horror movies, but I don't love them enough to uh, go to the extreme as a collector, as people like T, uh, um, uh, T Money uh, is, as well as other guys that I watch quite a bit. Uh, Celluloid Tear is another one that I know has a huge, incredible, collectible uh, uh, um DVD sets collection. Um, uh, Pizzoel is another one, and and there's more out there in the in the horror movie community uh, that have incredible collections and and limited edition collector versions of all of these. I love uh, the thing as you had uh, stated in your uh, video for this giveaway. And speaking of which, that video I'm going to link in the description down below. Anyway, um, I love the thing. It's my favorite horror movie. Uh, I, I have I have it on Blu-ray, but it's just a regular Blu-ray. There's nothing special about it. It's, I think it's an anniversary edition of it. Uh, and I think I also might have a special Blu-ray version of the Evil Deads that I, I'm, like I said, I'm a big, huge Evil Dead fan. Um, I have a 10-disc set of all of the uh, Halloween movies. But I don't think those are things in my collection that are um, sentimental value, to have any sentimental value or any great, they're, they're, like you were pointing out yourself, they're not the quintessential versions of the things that you could have as a collector of those movies. I love the movies, I like to watch them, um, but here's what I'm going to show you. I am a reader, I love to read, I collect comic books, and I have lots of books in my personal collection. I've literally turned one of my bedrooms into a library. So I'm going to show you a few books. I collect Funko Pops. Uh, there is an entire horror line of those, and I have a couple that I want to show that actually do have a little bit of sentimental value. And one of them is actually one of the most valuable ones in my collection. And then I have a couple collectibles uh, in my collection that I got from unboxings and and that as well that I think are, are awesome additions to my collection. Anyway, let's get going. So here's what we're going to do. I am a big, huge Stephen King fan, and one of my favorite books of his, and I've had this book for decades, uh, came out in the 80s. There's been a TV uh, miniseries made of this, and this is the uh, uncut, complete version of this story, which is The Stand from Stephen King. Uh, one of my favorite books of his. And then I also have here the uh, Edgar Allan Poe Complete Tales and Poems, uh, another author, horror author that I am a huge fan of as well. Uh, Edgar Allan Poe, absolutely love all of his stories and poems in my collection as well. 
like I said, as a reader, I'm happy to have both of these books in my collection. Um, I had this sent to me uh, from a fellow YouTuber who is a Funko Pop collector. Was happy to get this. Love this because it is one of the very first horror movies ever made. Silent film, 1920s uh, Nosferatu uh, character here that uh, he sent me as a uh, pop. The original, I believe this is the original movie uh, vampire, but uh, happy to add this to my collection. A little more sentimental value because this was sent to me by a friend that I've met here on YouTube and enjoy uh, talking to and, and have, uh, have had a good time getting to know all these people that collect the different things that I do. And another one too, I won in a giveaway from uh, a channel called Ethan Finds Out. And they personalized this, the uh, young boy Ethan and his mom Karen, who uh, from Ethan Finds Out, had a giveaway for a uh, limited edition glow-in-the-dark Jason Voorhees Friday the 13th collectible uh, which is the most valuable pop I currently have in my collection although some are starting to get to that point where they might actually pass this one up but uh, it just it's, it was nice that it was personalized from them and I and I communicate and comment on their videos quite often and enjoy watching their adventures going to cons and things like that so this is kind of a nice, neat little thing to have in my collection as well. Now I have gotten some collectibles, horror related, uh, from the BAM box that I absolutely love having in my collection as well. Uh, there is this uh, Jason Voorhees uh, signed uh, mask from Ari Lehman from the very first uh, Friday the 13th movie. And of course, this right here is my signed machete and this is a legit machete but it is uh, a limited number uh, 500 of these were signed by Kane Hodder uh, and uh, very happy to have this as part of my collection as well and I just think it's awesome because like I said this is yeah, you think of uh, <laughs> you think of Jason and uh, Machete comes to mind. It was kind of cool to have uh, two different pieces in my collection uh, signed by two different actors that portrayed uh, Jason Voorhees. But between this uh, Keen Hodder signed machete and the uh, Ari Lehman signed mask, I think it's an awesome pieces in my collection as well. But I think those uh, that, that pretty much covers it and a little too much in that case as well but I want to say congratulations once again on reaching 250 subscribers I hope a lot more people participate in your giveaway and uh, once again if you are checking it out and checking out my video thank you for watching and check out uh, Team Money 86 and I will leave a link in the description down below